Welcome to the update. Faith Gardner with you. Australia will add a third vaccine to the national rollout with the first doses of Moderna arriving. The shipment will touch down in Sydney before being divvied out to states and territories next week. Federal Health Minister Greg Hunt says it'll be administered at pharmacies. These are, are very important because they simply provide not only more vaccines but more points of access for Australians everywhere. Around Australia, we'll have over 9,000 points of presence next week. The WA government is making it easier for school-aged children to get a COVID jab. From next week, school students aged 16 and over will be able to walk into state-run clinics. Hotel quarantine will soon be a thing of the past in New South Wales. In the next few weeks, international travellers who are double vax will stay at home for seven days, tracked through an app which is already being trialled in South Australia. China has taken aim at the new defence pact signed between Australia the US and UK, accusing the three of adopting a Cold War mentality. There is pressure on New South Wales to pass legislation on voluntary euthanasia after Queensland became the fifth state to legalise voluntary assisted dying. And a welcome addition at Taronga Zoo in Sydney with the birth of five African lion cubs. To sport now, all eyes are Mackay this semi-final weekend in the NRL. The Sea Eagles up against the Roosters first, the winner to meet South Sydney next Friday. Roosters coach Trent Robertson says it's not not just see Eagles star fullback Tom Travoyevich they'll be focusing on. I mean, that's lazy coaching if you don't prepare well for players and, and also opposition. We understand where their strengths are, but it's also we know where we want to defend and how we want to attack them in defence. While Saturday night it's the Eels chasing back-to-back wins up against the Panthers. Parramatta coach Brad Arthur expecting a tight battle. I'll be really happy if at the 78, 79th minute that we're still in the fight and we're still either in front or a chance to win that game. That's what it's going to come down to, the, the 78, 79th minute that we're, we're, in, we're in the game and we're up to, it, to our eyeballs. And over a week out from the AFL Grand Final between the Demons and the Doggies in Perth, Melbourne coach Simon Goodwin has fallen ill, forcing him to keep away from his players. To entertainment news now, Elton John will go under the knife to repair his injured hip, forcing the 74-year-old to postpone his Europe and UK tour dates to 2023. British comedian Russell Brand has been slammed for sharing advice on how people can avoid COVID safety measures in order to attend his UK stand-up tour, and Keith Urban has launched a guitar lesson app for first-time pluckers. The program features hits by Taylor Swift and Little Nas X. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.